everybody watching online or uh, the live stream by RTL today. We want to thank you very much for tuning in for the afternoon. We have a very special person among us today, right now. She's the deputy head of HR at PwC, a phenomenal lady who's been in the game for a long time. She's a captain of industry. I'm welcoming in on stage for a beautiful presentation, Ms. Severin Mocha. Good afternoon, everybody. So my name is Erin Moka, deputy of HR in PwC. So PwC baby, I started 20 years ago in the tax field, and then I made the complete switch to the HR field one year and a half ago. Today, I wanted to talk about a specific topic. You may be used with that, or maybe not. Um, it's about the performance culture uh, complements the performance management. I will be explaining what is a performance management later and what is a performance culture and why we need really to combine both uh, for the time being and maybe going forward. A first slide I really like to share uh, when I'm doing presentation is this one. We made a study in 21 which uh, is uh, showing the fact that people think about changing job. So, and this study showed that one in four employees in Luxembourg consider probably changing employer in Luxembourg to be very or extremely high within 12 months. Meaning that we need to focus also uh, and to invest on our people, on the people culture, to ensure that we can also retain them. Why we are also a country at risk? So we are a country with many opportunities because we are in the middle of Europe, but we are at risk because uh, of uh, the housing costs and the mobility issues. So mobility issues you hear on a daily basis, maybe all the issues for the cross borders coming to Luxembourg. And you also sometimes hear about the pricing of the housing and as a testimonials as well, now when we recruit people from abroad, one of their first concern or question is around the cost of living. So I would be willing to come to Luxembourg. It's very interesting. It's a nice country. I heard a lot of good things around 